Hi guys! Today I'm going to be reviewing my Lotus Pads. And these are from lotuspads.com. Um, you don't get to pick your own patterns. She'll pick them for you. I have three of her light to medium flow pads. Um, they are nine inches long and two and a half to two and three quarter inches wide. And these are not um, the cheapest pads, but they're definitely not the most expensive either. They are $7.75 for a single or $22 for a three pack. And that is lotuspads.com. I'll put the link below. Um, but these, there, there's two things I don't really like about them. Um, and one is more for a particular pad, and that is kind of that it's bent down. The way it's sewed, it kind of folds over in your panties. And when you try and fix it, um, and I try to, like, unbunch it, it makes the bottom smaller, and then it's, like, this really awkward shape. Um, because it's just, you can see this is a defective pad. And I've contacted customer service, and they still haven't got back to me. Um, it's just, I mean, it, it looks fine, but the, it, it's almost like it was sewn too low, um, which is exactly what it is. It was just, the wing wasn't sewn properly. Um, so, I, this pad is, is very uncomfortable to use because then it's like, really thick in one part and it, it like bunches up and I just I don't use this pad at all um, because it's so uncomfortable the other two I don't have that problem with um, they look fine they function well this it, it does say light to medium flow do not wear this with a medium flow you will bleed straight through trust me um, when I was taking off this pad, in fact, um, I didn't bleed through the pad. But when I was folding it in, and I'm not really rough with my pads, um, you know, just folding it. And I went to put it into my, where I keep my soiled pads, like a, a bucket, basically, a little container. Blood just came like... I don't know, it was just not pouring through the back. I don't want to be over dramatic, but it was definitely it was all coming through the back when I folded it up. Um and that concerned me, um, because that was with a really light flow. So the next time I have a lot of extra liners. Um this is I'm not sure what one this is actually. Sorry about that. I'll post a link below for this liner, um, but I have like hemp liners and extra Lunapad liners. This one is just it's a really nice size, so what I end up doing is placing it like under the pad in my panties and then folding the wings around my panties. And this does make the pad bulkier, but this is the only way I'll wear this pad now. Um, and there have been a few times like half the times I wore it, that blood does get onto the extra soaker. So, if you are going to order these, um, know that it's it says light to moderate, but really it's just a light day pad. Um, it's super thin. You could even use this as a panty liner. It's like it's really comparable to Party in My Pants, their Lux liner. Um, it is a little bit thicker in the very center, but it's still very, 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 very thin. Um, I like it for the thinness. The absorbent layers are, it goes flannel fleece um, and interlock knit. And there's four layers. So I'm not really sure which one has two of, because it didn't really specify. Um, it is super thin. But there's no waterproofing at all on this pad. There's no fleece backing. There's no PUL. There's no anything. Um, which I feel like if this pad had that, it'd be a really great pad. 
but because it doesn't, it's very, very easy for it to go straight through the pad, which is why I only recommend this if you have a really light flow. Um, I use this like the last day when it's very, very light or if I'm spotting because I'm on fertility meds and sometimes I'll like spot halfway through my cycle and these are great for that. But I wouldn't use it for moderate flow um, at all. Even with an extra liner in the bottom just because you know this extra liner could shift around and I don't I just don't feel comfortable. It's never went completely through the extra liner, but it has gotten on it. So, overall, definitely not the most absorbent pad. Definitely not the greatest customer service. Um, but if you're looking for a thin, light day pad, this is fine. And I don't try to, like, knock down any brands, because any cloth pad brand out there that can get women to switch to um, reusable menstrual products, that's great. Um, I just, I feel like this is not advertised correctly, almost. Um, it should just stay like day, because I even do absorbency tests um, after I prep all my pads, and these have all been prepped. I washed them five times, not two, because I, I did it the two, and I noticed it wasn't very absorbent, so I washed it three more, just thinking it's just one of those pads that need to be washed a few more times. And it wouldn't even hold three mLs before it went straight through the pad. Um, so spotting or extremely light flow, extremely light. Um, if you, there's even a chance you're gonna have a moderate flow that day, don't wear this, girls, because you will bleed through, and that would be very embarrassing. Um, so. That being said, it is a good pad. You just have to be really careful with it um, and make sure only to wear it for light flows. So if you guys have any questions or anything, if you have bought this pad and you like it or you don't like it, or any questions at all, don't be afraid to ask. Um, just leave them in the comments below or send me a personal message. Even. I know a lot of you have done that um, just because some of you don't really... I don't know, you're more like a private type person and you don't want to sound like, I don't know, uneducated, I think is how one user put it. Um, but if you have any questions at all, don't be afraid to ask. Um, I will gladly get back to you. So, that being said, I hope you girls have a great night and I'll see you later. Bye.